Hi there and welcome. Today I'm going to take you through a tour of Wondershare Demo Creator, the all-in-one tool for creating amazing videos. Whether you're an educator, a student, or a professional, Demo Creator makes it easy to bring your ideas to life. Let's explore how this tool can empower learning and creativity. My name is Nellie Deutsch and welcome to Empowering Learning and Creativity with Wondershare Demo Creator. I'm going to get started with a free download. So just click on it. Notice it recognizes that I'm on a Mac. I already have mine. So let me show you what you do once you download it. So let's get started. First of all, the video recorder, we're going to hit that. There we are. And then uh, this is the pop-up that we get. Notice you can screen and use your camera. You can use your camera only, or you can just use audio. So we're going to opt for screen and camera. Now I use screen sharing tools all the time, and this is the best ever. The reason I use them is uh, because my students are required to present. And I also create lots of videos on YouTube using screen recorders. And this is the best, as I mentioned before. So let's click on screen record and notice what we get here. We can notice camera permission required. We need to do that on our computer system. So we need to allow. There we go. So we need to allow permission. So let me allow that. OK, you may have to do that in advance. So make sure that you enable those things. But it's really easy because they tell you exactly what to do. Notice next. All right. And then it goes through each of these. So you don't have to worry about figuring things out. It's all done for you in this step by step process. So the microphone permission is required. So let's allow that. There we go. Allow. As I said, I'm on Mac. So your system will look slightly different if you're using another operating system such as Windows. So next. OK, so easy. Just click away and then start recording. So let's see what happens. We can start recording here in the purple or uh, you'll see that happening there as well. So now we're recording the screen. So there notice the camera appears. So hi there. That's a double camera. Notice what it says here. Uh, the camera preview window will close when recording starts. Now this is very typical. You can uh, notice make it larger by hitting the uh, the bottom right or the bottom left here. OK, it's up to you, but I kind of go for the that one and um, you can bring it back and make it smaller. So it's up to you, whatever size suits you. Notice you can also um, have a beauty filter. Isn't that amazing? So you can filter. And notice here your beauty filter, skin toning. I don't know. You can play around with that until you get to the right tone that suits you. Skin brightening, if you like that. Chin size. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Change the size of your uh, forehead size. I don't know. OK, so there goes. Uh, eye size, which um, I always like to have bigger eyes. OK, so and then nose size. Why not have a smaller nose? Nose bridge. I just love these. OK, and mouth size. You know, everybody wants a bigger mouth right these days. <laughs> OK, so you can play around with that. I think it's really, really neat. So that's um, your beauty filter. You also have notice here. Uh, let's move. You can also have the mirror. So you have a mirror. If you like that background, you can change the background. I notice um, you can blur things, but I'm not going to do that. Whoops, but I did do it. Didn't want to, but it happened. But there it's back. So then you can go notice here. Uh, it goes away and then you can play around with that and get your background. And you can also have different shapes. Notice rectangle. Hi there. I love this. It's so easy and a lot of fun. OK, so we want to go back to the circle and there is the circle. So it's really up to you. I don't know what you prefer, uh, but that's how it works. All right. So now that we've got and it's going to disappear. Remember, as it said, we're going to go back to our recording so we can't look at ourselves as we're recording. So notice here um, screen and cam. That's what we opted for. Next, we're going to start 
recording. Now, what are we going to record? We need to select. Okay, now notice what's uh, available. Multi-track recording and editing and single track recording and exporting. So uh, which one would you like? Try them out and see which one works for you. I'm going to go for the single. And notice here, you need to also on my computer, I need to be able to enable this. So let me do that now. So you don't have to worry about anything because it just does, it just prompts you to the next step. All right, so let's see if we've got everything. Notice that's my camera. I've got another camera, also my phone here. You can use your phone as well if it's connected. Uh, the audio, okay, got that right. And um, notice time here. Amazing feature because you can have a start time, you can schedule it and, and task, okay. And you can also recording area. Notice the options here, full screen, custom, or 120 by 720, 120, 80, which is what I normally use for my YouTube videos. And then you can also export Express and open folder, other things here that are not related. So set a record task, we'll cancel that. We don't need the timer. So all we need now is our screen. Okay, select Windows. Okay, here at the bottom, left-hand side of the red record. Now we can choose what we want to record. So make sure that whatever you want to record is open. Let's start by choosing a screen. So here we go. This is my choice. Notice what appears here. I need again to allow. So let me allow that. And now it's recording uh, a screen. Okay, so we've got the screen being recorded. And notice the uh, features here. There's the uh, pause and stop. And here you've got some ideas on what to do, try it for free or to buy it. Let's uh, stop and wait for the magic to happen. Notice the editing here. In this case, um, I would like to edit and here we are. As I said, everything is right there. You don't have to look for anything. It just pops up. Okay. so. Notice uh, now you can go into the editing. You can also change it from remember uh, 120 80 by 720 to full high definition or you can get the size here for YouTube. Notice uh, it's all available here. You can make the edits by clicking on the edit here and then change whatever needs to be changed. You add a title of call this demo and then save it so you know exactly what the project is about. Notice what's available here. Templates, annotations, video effects, audio effects, cursor effects, which I really love because cursors are so important. And I like this one. Cursor highlight. That is wonderful. We'll add that. So you can drag and drop anything that you wish. Let's continue here. You can also add text. I have transitions, brand stickers, and audio. You could actually add music or sound to your video when you edit. And video effects, notice what they are here. Okay, so you can have different effects here. Green screen, if you like that. AI portrait mirror. Isn't that amazing? All right, so we can add these as well. Annotations, my favorite feature. And notice here for Valentine's Day. Isn't that nice? So we could add that for Valentine. Happy! So yeah, tomorrow's Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine Day to everyone. Isn't that amazing? I love that. So you can add that in between. This is the best video editor I have ever seen and I've used, uh, I think I've used them all, both paid and free. And this is absolutely amazing. So notice also the templates you can choose from location, which is my field downloading. That's uh, going to be part of it as well. And then of course, Valentine is going to appear there since it's still here. But you may move it if you want it somewhere else, um, maybe near the end of the video where you say bye bye and thank you to everyone. Notice you can also export. Lovely, right? I'll let you try it out and let me know what you think. That's really important. Now, another wonderful feature is this record. You can decide that you want to add another recording. You may wish uh, to have a few, not just one. So that's another available feature. So it's really, really intuitive and easy 
to work with. There are definitely a lot of features. This is how you move it down to your canvas and then we can play. So let's play. So, um, so here we go. This is my choice. Notice what appears here. I need again to allow. So let me allow that. And now it's recording uh, a screen. Okay, so we... okay, I ended that um, and I'm going to actually delete this. Now you can also delete by hitting it and then just deleting it. Delete, you don't have to go to the right of your mouse. And that's how you add to the library if you've got something recorded that you want to edit. I have a lot of videos that need editing, even old videos that you've already put on YouTube or somewhere else and you might want to uh, edit them. This is a great way to do it. If you have any questions, feel free to add them in the comment box below and contact me for more. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of Wondershare, a wonderful way of using all-in-one screen recorder and video editor for your class.